Would you like to have Trim Healthy Mama friendly foods prepped and ready to go at all times so that you can stay on plan more easily? If you would like to have that, I'm here to help you. We have a prep ahead challenge starting tomorrow. Now, if you are like, wow, I haven't gotten anything ready yet. I didn't know about this or somehow you missed the announcements. That's okay. You can still join in. I'm gonna show you how you can help. So first you'll go to the wellplannedkitchen.com and get your prep packet. I'll put the link in the description of this video. You can download and print your packet or just save it on your computer. You're going to go to the prep for the challenge section. There's two pages here, okay? So the first page, you're going to choose ingredients from the protein box handouts from day one. So that means you're gonna go to these handouts on that are at the back of the packet. There's some of the last items there. They walk you through step-by-step step how to put together bento boxes for THM or THM friendly bento boxes. Now, these have been an absolute lifesaver for me. What I do is I take a little bento box. If you don't have those boxes that have the different compartments, they sell them at Kroger, they sell them at Target. On Amazon, I have a bunch of my favorites posted at thewellplannedkitchen.com slash Amazon. But if you don't have those boxes, just put them in baggies, put them in Tupperware containers, whatever works for you, it's totally okay. You don't need a lot to make this work. But think charcuterie board in a box. I do good salami, nice, good cheese, nuts, some of my favorite things, a handful of Lily's chocolate chips, some berries, some sliced cucumbers. I mean, I have some videos I've posted of how to put those boxes together, but you're just gonna pick which things you like from either the S friendly, FP friendly, or E friendly pages. You're just gonna work one page at a time. So like this low fat is the E friendly page. Don't combine and mix and match from this page and this page because then you'll end up with a crossover. So follow one page at a time. Let's say you wanna make e-boxes, you choose this sheet. You just pick, you may already have a lot of the ingredients that you need to put your boxes together. So you'll just go through these boxes and choose which ones you want. That's the first step for the challenge. For the second step, you're gonna choose a THM soup or salad recipe. So my recommendations are trim train Italian soup on page 160 of Trim Healthy Table or salad in a jar, page 188 from the THM cookbook. You don't have to do those. You can pick any soup, any salad. If you're just jumping in, you could pick a soup or salad that you happen to have ingredients for in your house already. That's totally fine. So you're just choosing what you want for day one if you're just jumping in now, or maybe you're ready for the challenge and ready to go. I hope you are either way. And you'll just, you can use the shopping list I've provided for you or just get what you need to do day one. Then you can go back and do the rest. But if you'd like to prep for the whole challenge all at once, again, this doesn't take a lot of time. You'll just go through, it says choose a shake for day two. And I have a recommendation for a shake. You're just gonna choose any shake you want. Um, you're gonna choose a snack for day two and I have some recommendations there. Let's say you're like, Jen, I don't have any time to prep. That's okay too because on each prep worksheet, I just give you a list of things you can just buy already prepped from the store to save you some time and energy and get some things stocked that you can grab and go for THM to help you stay on plan. Listen, I understand finding time to prep can sound like a huge thing, but I do all of my food prep in just a few minutes a day. Sometimes if I have a little extra time, I'll do something extra special, but most of the time, I just spend a couple of minutes a day and it totally works. This is just one of, I would say, this is a small fraction of the systems that I put in place to make THM easy and doable and fast as a single working mom um, with five kids. But the way that I do this, the way we're doing this challenge is just really a taste of one of the systems that you can put in place to make THM easy. This is actually, this five day stretch is a little bit more intense even than what we do in um, my boot camp where I teach you the full system to be able to get on plan and stay on plan without spending hours in the kitchen. So if you're busy or tired or you feel like THM's a lot of work, boot camp is definitely something you should check out and you can see what that's about and read the five star reviews at thewellplannedkitchen.com slash THM bootcamp. But for this challenge, if you're joining us for this challenge, this might feel like, okay, you're not used to it. So for five days, we're doing a couple of things each day. That's just because 
you're not really perhaps in a system. So this might feel like five days of a little more concentration, a little more effort, a little more work, but it's definitely doable and it's definitely something that over the next five days will get you prepared for the next couple of weeks at least, if not a lot longer. Through this challenge, we're going to be making, we're gonna be making the protein boxes where I can do four or five lunches in five minutes or less. That's pretty handy. We're gonna be making a THM super salad that you can have multiple servings of and eat throughout the week. We're going to be making shakes. Um, we're going to be making a snack. So my go-to is the ultimate E-bars from Trim Healthy Table that's on page 432, but I have lists here for you to choose from. And we're going to be making all these things. Um, we're gonna be making, what else? A protein, we're gonna be, and I gave you an instruction page for prepping a protein. We're going to um, use a recipe for that protein and we're gonna make a breakfast and a dessert. This is all over the next five days. But the idea is that you cook one meal or you're in the kitchen once every day and then you just make extra or you make something additional. So I don't want anyone doing this challenge and spending hours and hours and hours in the kitchen. For example, when I'm making trim train soup tomorrow, I'm going to make it at dinner time when I be in the kitchen cooking anyway. And when I make my soup and it's on the stove, I'm going to spend five minutes making my protein boxes for my lunches for the week. That way I'm in the kitchen once. I'm not dirtying dishes over and over again. I'm just doing it one time. So that's what we're working on this week. We have this five day challenge starting tomorrow. I'd love for you to join me. We're doing just one day at a time, a few simple tasks every day. I would encourage you to not schedule a big prep session. Just go in the kitchen when you're already going to be in the kitchen doing something else and make one of the things that we've chosen for the prep challenge. Just do it at the same time and save some energy and some time in the kitchen and do all your dishes at one time at the end of it and get it over with. You can download your printable packet and jump right in. If you're watching this after the challenge started, it's totally okay to just start where you are or do this on your own or follow along with the videos and do it over again. I love simple prep ideas because it saves a lot of time in the future. And I think future Jen thanks me for doing the prep when I can. But again, none of us have time to spend hours in the kitchen, so we're just doing a little bit at a time while we're already in the kitchen doing something else and we're getting fully prepared to stay on plan for a long time. So I hope you'll join me tomorrow. I will see you here.